Why is it you? No, I... I didn't... I didn't arrange this. I was told to come here. Mm. I believe you. How have you been? I'm fine. And you? Oh, I'm okay. Busy with palace matters. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm in charge of the management of treasures. Oh, I heard. I saw it in the Imperial Bulletin. Well done. Uh, what white porcelain does His Highness like? Uh, basin set. And tea set. Oh. I'll remember that when I go back. Yours are beautiful. Thanks. You promised to teach me to make it. Now you're in the royal palace. You made the first ever white porcelain. If you like it, I can make it for you. You don't have to. It's fine. I'm making other things. Would you prefer a teacup or a vase? Anything. I think the first vase you made was really lovely. It's a shame Her Highness took the first white porcelain piece. But that isn't the first piece. Huh? This is the first piece. It is small, but it was made first. The first piece ever made. You're back. Come. <laughs> Thank you, Excellency. Get up now. Come, get up. Why did you bow to me? The steward gave the Imperial decree. Your division has got a 30% raise. Oh. Yuan Fu said there'd be other rewards. I guess he meant this. Well, don't thank me. Let's thank His Majesty. Highness, we will never forget that you saved our lives. From now on, we'll follow you no matter what happens. I saved your lives? If you hadn't been so smart and forced us to check all the accounts, we'd have been like those maids in the accounts division, imprisoned or beaten to death. <gasps> Did people die? The deficits were high. Consort Xiao ordered them punished. Several senior kitchen maids drowned themselves. And Madame Chi from the Accounts Division hung herself last night. She did? Mm. I saw her at the ceremony. You're dismissed. Yes. yes. The joy and excitement that Lu Jun had felt after becoming a female official suddenly disappeared. Although she didn't realize this court intrigue had started because of her, Lu Jun began to feel icy chills down her spine. Sister! Sister, you're back. Were you busy? Hey, why are you looking so pale? Oh, I just caught a small chill. Danyang, please pass this message to Steward Yuan. Tell him I want to see him. I'll do it right away. Jun? 
I'm late because of some palace stuff. It's fine. You're not that late. Chan? Why do you look listless? I came to ask a question. Go on. Ataya Pond, if we were alone, would you have taken the belt I gave you? Your answer. Can we stop quarreling then? I've never blamed you. Never once. Good show, didn't I? You did. <laughs> hey! I'm... Quiet! Ow! You've lost. Pay up! You were serious? Prince Chang Guang gave me this to buy something for Madame Lu. I mean, hey, I... Uncle Zhang said that you like to gamble any time that you have money. He's right. Yes, but... Ah, calm down. You might as well lose it to me rather than someone else. Oh. Huh? But half the money is mine. Can you give me my half back? Hmm? <laughs> Keep it. It's yours. <sighs> Why did you just... forgive me? I just... suddenly realized this palace is... very big and cold. And since... I became an official... People pretend to be friendly, but I don't trust anyone, but Madame Yang and you. I was angry at you at first, but then I was thinking, we've been through so much together. You aren't a snobbish person at all. That night you weren't sure. You always treat me well. I shouldn't have treated you in that way. In anger. Listen, I'm a fool too. If I'd known the meaning of the belt you gave me, even if it meant death, I'd have taken it. <sighs> so, my sewing's not that bad? Of course it's not. But Uncle Jung said, he said, your sewing is absolutely terrible, making it hard to get married. Then give it back. It's a cold night. And you want to undress me? What's on your mind? <laughs> what nonsense! He also said you'd be a terrible wife to anyone else. So, I have to accept you, reluctantly. Huh? Did you just say that? Lu Jin, I'm joking. Jen, since I gave you the Jade Pendant, you've become an insider. Though I didn't know the meaning of this belt before, a Northern Chi Jade Pendant is not given lightly. I wonder how many you've given away. Perhaps the Gao family has dozens. You might have been giving them away for years. Lu Jen, the pendant I gave you is like... The white tiger you made. It's the only one. It isn't a love token. It's some clay I molded for fun. And in the kiln, it just became white. But I should thank you. If you hadn't come barging in, I would never have solved the mystery of the white porcelain. I'm glad I could contribute. Now, what's my reward? Huh? How is this foolish? You will be one of us soon. Hey, Zan. I have something very important to say. We might be very close just now. But I hope you'll stay out of my business. You know what I mean. 
If I become a sixth rank official, I'll be able to get the Supreme Court to reinvestigate my father's case and clear my own name. I know you're close with His Majesty. Perhaps I could get promoted with a scratch of your pen. But I want to settle this matter alone. Jen, you worry a lot. His Majesty helps me because I'm Prince Chongguang's guard. I can't fend for myself, let alone you. Did she try to harm you again? Yes. I checked her accounts. She was mad. She took a lot of my savings. That's no good. A palace worker needs to socialize. You must save some money. I know. His Majesty gave me some gold, and I also have some savings. So you can buy an official title somewhere else. Jen. I've considered that very much. I thought about it and decided to stay here as a lowly guard. At least then I can see more of you. But you should think of your future too. Zan? Hmm? That's not all. What is it? No matter what happens, tell me directly. Don't lie to me. Maybe you did at Taiye Pon, but I hate the thought. And if you must lie, give me a hint. Like you can touch your eyebrow or scratch your left ear. Because I'm actually pretty dumb. Almost as dumb as you. <sighs> Listen, I will believe whatever you say. So just don't lie to me, all right? Yes. Even if I'm forced to lie one day, I'll touch my eyebrow. Jen, listen to me. I'll never make you unhappy again. I promise. Actually... Go look over there! Go! Quick! <laughs>